we now talk about the lag operator and the characteristic polynomial. So the lag operator, it is denoted by L and this just produces a lag in the variable. So for example, this yt minus 1 is just lag of yt and yt minus 2, this is just lag of yt minus 1 or you can say 2 lags of yt. So this 2, 2 lags you apply to yt, you get yt minus 2. So this is your ARP process. Yeah, so you have 5, 1, y, t, minus 1, 5, 2, y, t, minus 2, all the way to 5, p, y, t, minus p. So this is ARP process. So this ARP process, you rewrite. So instead of y, t, minus 1, so instead of this, you write lag of y, t. Then this y, t, minus 2, you write lag of, lag square of y, t. So on, all the way here, this is p lags of yt. Now you take all these terms on the left hand side. So you take everything on the left hand side. So you get 1 minus 5 1 lag. So this 5 1 is coming here. Everything in this side. This L is here. And this yt is right here. Similarly you have this 5 2 is here. This L square is here. And this yt is right here. So this 5 p is here. L p is here. This yt is right here. So you have taken everything on the left hand side. So this will be equal to C plus epsilon t. So on the right hand side just these two terms remain. That is it. So this you can rewrite as a characteristic polynomial. So instead of L you just write Z where Z is a complex number. So this becomes your characteristic polynomial. Now for your AR process to be stable. So stable means that when you go along in time, the process does not go to plus infinity or minus infinity because it, if it goes to plus infinity or minus infinity, then you cannot say anything. The process is like out of bounds. So it, for uh, this AR process, autoregressive process to be stable, you first find its characteristic polynomials and then you find the roots of the polynomial. So the roots of the polynomial its uh, absolute value should be greater than 1. So notice that for a complex number, you have complex number like this, x plus i y, where i is square root of minus 1, and this modulus of z means nothing but square root of x square plus y square. So this should be greater than 1. For the time series to be weakly stationary or covariance stationary. So for example, for one lag, so if there is just one lag, so that is just this part, uh, the characteristic polynomial is 1 minus phi of z is 0. Now if z is greater than 1, then phi is less than 1. So notice that from this equation you have phi is equal to 1 by z. So if z is greater than 1, then phi is less than 1. That makes the process covariance stationary or weakly stationary. So this condition we had mentioned before, that phi should be less than 1 for AR1 process to be stable. And now we are showing that this holds if you find the root of the polynomial which is greater than 1. Now we come to this moving average Q process. So here again this uh, epsilon t minus 1 is lag of epsilon t, epsilon t minus 2 this is lag of epsilon t minus 1 or epsilon t minus 2 is lag squared of epsilon t. So that is two periods lag on epsilon t. So now you have a MA process. So MAP process is kappa plus epsilon t. Again you have lag 1, lag 2 all the way to p lags. And uh, as we said before each of these epsilon i's is drawn from a normal distribution with mean 0 and some variance sigma square. Now again you can rewrite this. You can uh, bring all these terms to this side. So we bring everything to left hand side and just leave kappa on the right hand side. So you have yt minus, so this uh, epsilon t minus 1, this becomes nothing but L times epsilon t, this becomes L square epsilon t, this becomes LP epsilon t. So minus sign is here, you're bringing everything there. So this epsilon t is just this one here. Theta 1 L is just the, this term. Theta 1 L epsilon T is right here. 
then here it is theta 2 l square epsilon t is right here then theta p l p epsilon t is right here and uh, for the characteristic polynomial now you just focus on this part replace l with z and we get theta 1 z plus theta 2 z square everything equal to 0 now the roots of this equation should satisfy absolute value of z is greater than 1 for time series to be stationary so what this uh, does this mean now we saw that in ma1 process there was no condition on theta 1 this we have seen previously but we are putting this condition because it is possible to convert this ma process into this ma process can be converted to a ar process and if you want to convert this moving or average process into auto regressive process then you have to have these characteristic roots greater than 1 for the stability in the auto regressive process now we will uh, show a small example how to go from ma to ar or ar to ma so our example is simply this that ar1 that is auto -re regressive one can be converted to ma infinite process so let us see this so this is your ar1 process there is one lag this is a constant and this is the error term so what you do is you know this uh, y t minus 1 you can rewrite again this is a general form so y t minus 1 you can write as c plus e t minus 1 plus phi times y t minus 2 so this part you copy as such here so this part I have copied right here so this phi I have copied here now this c plus epsilon t minus 1 comes here and this phi multiplied by phi gives you phi square and then you again plug in for y t minus 2 because c plus epsilon t minus 2 so now you keep on going back in time and uh, now let us uh, rewrite this so this is nothing but this comes is a summation for c plus phi of c plus phi square of c and so on and then you have this epsilon t this epsilon t is here plus phi times epsilon t minus 1 plus phi square times epsilon t minus 2 and so on now this is an infinite process or you could say that you know this process stops at y1 or it just uh, keeps on going on towards minus infinity so now we have seen that how to convert a ar1 process to ma infinite process now you could say uh, as i said before this ma infinite means you're going towards uh, minus infinity say the series has been going on for too long for example the temperature of the earth so uh, the change in temperature of the earth has been there since the inception of the earth so that series goes on uh, goes on uh, into the past therefore we are writing m infinite but if you have a finite terms then this will become finite uh, so this is one way of converting ar1 to m infinite process now let us implement what we have just said now in R that is we want to find characteristic polynomials and then we, we need to find the roots of the characteristic polynomial so say this is uh, the equation given to you of a, of a AR2 process so this is a AR2 process so corresponding to this AR2 process you have a characteristic polynomial so you will bring this term on this side you will also bring this term on this side so this is lag 2 so when you bring 1.5 on the left hand side this becomes minus 1.5 there is lag 1 so you put a z here when you bring this on the left hand side this becomes plus 0.75 and there is a lag of 2 here so you have z square and this is your characteristic polynomial and you equate it equal to 0 to find its roots so you write it like this z is equal to c1 minus 1.5.75 so that means this is a this is a polynomial in complex numbers and uh, these are the coefficients 1 is a constant minus 1.5 corresponds to z 0.75 corresponds to z square so this is uh, z to the power of 0 z to the power of 1 z to the power of 2 and if you have more terms you keep adding in this direction then this is the command poly root of z so poly root of this polynomial z and uh, you run this command and then you have a this will print it out so i have uh, noticed that i put semicolons here 
you can put semicolons if you want to run the command in R in a single line. So let us run this in R and see. So you copy paste these commands from the description of the video and just hit the run button and you see uh, we have the two roots 1 plus 0 0.57735i this i is a complex number that is square root of minus 1 and 1 minus 0 0.57735i so if you take uh, the absolute value or the modulus of this that is 1 square plus 0 0.57735 square here it will be also 1 plus 0 0.57735 square because the uh, square of minus is plus you will see that this is greater than 1 so you can now say that this uh, root uh, this equation is stable so this is a stable AR2 process notice that 1.5 is actually greater than 1 but still this is a stable AR2 process because when you found out the roots when you find the roots out the roots are greater than 1 1 plus and this 1 minus this 1 minus doesn't mean anything because when you uh, it's a complex number so when you find the modulus of it you will do 1 square plus minus of 0.77 square which will give you a number which is greater than 1 so both those, these roots are greater than 1 so you don't have to worry about anything so the process is stable for uh, this AR2 process so this AR2 process is stable